Yo, what's up, Sasha here. I'm doing another unboxing of a guitar I just got from uh, Portugal. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played much guitar in the past year, but um, I thought uh, might as well get this guitar because they're really rare to find. Um, and, uh, you know, one of those purchases where <laughs> get it uh, There's one of those purchases where it's like, if you don't get it, you're gonna regret it later. It's got this cool kind of case. I'm surprised how uh, cool this case is. Glad it's not a coffin case. And as you can tell by the shape of it, you might have a guess as to uh, what it's gonna be. Oh yeah. This is a Kevin Bond signature um, Rhodes V from uh, out of the late 2000s, maybe 08, Actually, maybe older. Um, but yeah, this is made in Japan, and this is going to be my fourth Rhodes V. And uh, the reason why I have so many now is because I play in different tunings, so. Um, yeah, my red, other red one, my first, uh, or my second Rhodes V was, uh, is for Gorgasm, so that's in B standard. Um, my green one that's on the wall, that's in C. This one's in, uh, C sharp. And then this red one, I don't know, I mean, uh, I might keep it in standard and just start playing a bunch of Metallica. And it has nothing to do with the Stranger Things fucking shit. I don't watch Stranger Things. But I hope it makes people downpick more. Because no one downpicks. Brother! And, uh... Yeah. After a while, I might get this one installed with a, uh... Evertune bridge. Because um, I know you can mail them to, to the Evertune company. And, uh, all that jazz. I'm gonna put paper all over the strings. Super weird. But yeah, I paid just over, or just under two grand Canadian for this. Which is a lot more than I wanted to pay. I just knew that with inflation, um, there's nothing you can do. Things are gonna cost more right now. And it looked like it was in really, really good condition. And uh, the last V I got early COVID, this yellow one, I paid for only 500 American because the guy was, uh, I guess, really wanted to move it. So in the course of under $2,600, I have two guitars that are worth over 2000 each. So I thought if I pay a little bit more for this one, that's okay because it balances out with um, what I paid for this sucker. And so you guys know, this has a Fishman Fluence. Um, I took a lace pickup out, and then has a super crazy custom Sophia Bridge upgrade. This was about, I don't know, almost a thousand dollars, 800. Uh, it's probably the best bridge I've ever had for floating. And I might get another one, because it's, I just tracked a whole vacuous album, sophomore album guitars, I did quad tracking and two of the guitars were with this Fishman Fluence and the other two were with my red um, normal Floyd Rose with an EMG. So two guitars are Fishman Fluence, two guitars are EMG, but both of them were Floyd and this Sophia Bridge stayed in tune um, really, really well and it plays really cool. It also has a drop tuning if I want to do the Van Halen switch. Um, yeah, so specs on this guitar, um, 22 frets, uh, it has a Tony Iommi passive pickup, uh, they're supposedly rare, so I don't know if it's worth anything, not a lot of dings on it, um, it's not floating, so yay, <laughs> uh, this fret health is in, uh, sorry, the frets are in really good health, 
Um, there's really just a couple nicks on the back, on the front. Um, let me just pause this for a sec. Alright, I actually uh, have the specs here. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. So, I got this headstock in the way. Um, yeah, red binding, solid body, neck through. Um, I've always liked neck through guitars. I don't know why. They just feel more comfortable. Sure, there's bolt on that are just as comfortable too. It's just whatever you get used to. Um, mahogany body, obviously, the Rhodes V shape. This is a hard tail. Uh, two nomadic uh, bridge, uh, fingerboard material, ebony bound, um, inlays, pearl, pentagram, as you can see. Um, kind of cool. When I first got my first one 12 years ago, I thought it was so cor corny having the pentagram. So I was like, oh well. Um, and then uh, number of frets 22, scale length 25 and a half. Um, there's only one volume knob. Fret size jumbo, three piece neck, uh, neck wood mahogany, six string tuners or Grover. Just classic. Um, yeah, you got the humbucker Iomi. And then for the neck, it's a U shaped neck. Um, the actual neck wood is maple on the front, I guess. That's what it says. And, uh, oh, no, 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 it's mahogany. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I might as well just start playing it. And, of course, uh, with the Tony Iommi pickup, you're going to want to fucking play some Sabbath, so... <laughs> Out of tune, uh, I should have tuned it. Um, um I'm going to start doing a bunch of Metallica, just catching up on my roots. Uh, has nothing to do with Stranger Things, I swear. I don't watch that show. I've never watched it. These pickups aren't hot enough for Metallica, in my opinion, obviously, because Hetfield played uh, Actives. But I'll try these pickups for a while. Good chance I'll get rid of them pretty soon. Um, this Sir Aldrich... Um, passive pickup is one of the best passive pickups. Shout out to Blue of uh, Fit from an Autopsy. He mentioned it to the to me years ago. Uh, it's extremely clean, yet has a lot of balls to it. So that's what it's about: clean and balls. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'll just give you a final tour of my breakdown of all my V's. Because uh, I think I have just enough now, so I'm just going to take the camera. So yeah, all these Vs were made within almost a five-year period of themselves. Um, so you got these two. They're identical. Kevin Bond signatures. Those two. One green bevel, one red bevel. And then you got my... Uh, Gorgasm guitar with the EMG. I might put a Fishman Fluence in that. And then the yellow one with the mods of the crazy fucking Floyd and a Fishman Fluence. Um, both these two guitars are 24 frets. These two are 22. Um, yeah, any questions, just feel shoot me a message in the below YouTube shit. Uh, shout out to the dude in Portugal. I forgot his name. We were back and forth for a while. I was trying to haggle the shit out of him. It's usually not my style, but 
I got what I wanted and uh, yeah I'm just trying to show you Japanese made Jacksons are just as good as USA made Jacksons fucking fight me in the comments below you fucking bunch of jerks anyways uh, thanks for watching cheers